Leo, welcome to your Lunar Eclipse in Libra reading, and I hope this finds you well as this hits your third house while the sun is in your ninth. So, a lot here going on with geography, like your locale versus something long distance. Might have to do with what you know versus what you believe. Documents, legalities might be getting triggered, and you know, with Venus, Saturn, Neptune, and Mars in your eighth house right now in Pisces, it could be that there's something unclear having to do with other people's resources or power dynamics in a relationship, maybe something with the government, okay? I'm gonna take it how it applies, but let's see what the overarching energy is for Leo. New romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. <laughs> okay, so uh, Libra season maybe, mm -hmm. which would be what? That would be like mid-October? That might be like actually mid-September to mid-October, yes. Mm -hmm. If, uh, you know, it could be hitting up at that time, but um, why we're pulling it now, I don't know. Does some of you need to remain encouraged? Because I'm gonna tell you Libra is the eclipse that we're having. And this, at this time, is about releasing relationships for you, maybe relationships with people like neighbors, siblings, people in your local area where you reside. And so, yeah, if you're letting go of, of uh, somebody more on a local level, uh, perhaps by the time uh, we get a new moon in Libra, then something new is going to start up with relationships in that third house area of your life, like meeting somebody new by then. Let's see how you're showing up. So is showing up. I'm about to wonder, are you even showing up? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. It's like, you know, it took a while to come out, but once it came out, boy, did it come out, right? So, <sighs> hangman, king of wands, and king of, uh, ace of cups in reverse, and the towers at the foundation. That, that's such a mixed bag message. I mean, this is all over the dang board. It's like, are we, we not doing anything? Oh, wait, we're doing something. Oh, wait, wait a minute, I'm not opening my emotions up. But wait, you know, uh, there's there's a fallout here. Like, this is drama city. Can I be straight with you? And it almost looks like somebody needs to get a new perspective about being emotionally blocked and not opening up emotionally with that. Or something about new love, not having new love. Some of you may be depressed about something falling out, okay? And you need to get a new perspective on holding back emotions, repressing them, maybe even being depressed about a fallout. I'm getting like something has to be reestablished. Some of you may literally need to move Some of you need to think about how you are asserting yourself in romantic relationships. Like this is very lusty sexual energy, but it's almost like you need to get a new perspective on how you make a move, okay? There's a blockage in the heart that is causing some kind of fallout. It's causing a situation where you can't build with someone. And spirit is wanting you to let go and just kind of surrender and become more aware of a blockage in the heart or a way that you are asserting your sexual energy or the way that other people are asserting their sexual energy. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of looking a little bit like there's some hangups here. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say that because it feels like I'm throwing shade at you, Leo. But is there some kind of... I just heard revival that was in reverse. Okay, so yeah, you need to come out of lockdown or shutdown or something, okay? And that's at the foundation lover's card. So this definitely has to do with your love life, okay? If you're like, I'm I'm great. I don't know what you're talking about. This that's it's not your reading. <laughs> Cause I'm getting I'm getting an energy here of somebody is needing to come out of shutdown, lockdown in their heart. And it's gonna happen through getting a new perspective about opening up emotionally and yeah maybe busting a move your person of interest they're showing up like a knight of swords and three of wands where they made a decision about you and they've made they've decided that they're just going to wait 
and they might be waiting on someone else. Okay, I hate to say this, but why, why are they waiting? Both of y'all are like, there's a lot of waiting energy for you. It's like, I guess it's a spirit led thing I'm really sensing is that spirit is trying to get you to hold back so that you can get a new perspective. This person, they have a really clear perspective and their perspective is, well, I'm going to wait for my ships to come in. And if that means it's going to be with somebody else, then so be it. That's, I'll get expansion with whoever shows up. I'm getting like the first person who shows up is going to get it. And this person might really be longing, okay? Wanting things to move ahead. Some of them, they, they may be intending for things to get forward movement. They might be very ambitious about things moving forward. But it looks like they have made a clear-headed decision that they have to wait. And this could be stressful to them. It might be that they have beliefs like, this is what I got to do, so this is so I'm going to do it, you know? They want, they want something to be given to them. This is maybe having to do with an older woman. Or at least a woman that's trying to make a, a mature, you know, clear-headed decision to say, you know, I'm not going to rush in. I'm going to wait. I'm almost getting this knight in shining armor. So you take it how it applies, you know, if... You're Leo female and you resonate with this woman, then that's you and that's your person of interest. What's out of balance is something having to do with someone moving on, Six of Swords, okay? And um, somebody's disappointed about it. Like, they don't like what has been offered to them. They're unimpressed. There seems to be, like, between the two of you, somebody is coming across very uninterested, Maybe even, yes, emotionally disconnected. And frankly, I saw it over here with this person, okay, that there's some kind of emotional disconnect. And, and it looks like they just want to get on from that energy. They want to leave the troubles behind. But again, I'm getting something here. Maybe there's a move. Somebody needs to make a move. I'm being brought back to bust a move. Uh, somebody needs to move on from something. And it's necessary. And until that, that move is made, there's just going to be some kind of, I'm not interested, you know? In order to, you know, bring balance back, something's going to have to positively shift with some defensive energy. Refusing to open up to someone or something. And I'm not judging, judging here. It might be, you know, unwanted attention, unwanted offer, unwanted opportunity, okay? But something's going to have to positively shift in order to come out of this, you know, stalemate. And yeah, this might be a very faded timing issue, that maybe involving a, an Aquarius or a soulmate might also have to do with your ambitions. But somebody is, I'm getting holding their ground as well. Tell me when is this timing issue? Yeah, holding, hold yourself. <laughs> when is this going to change with that Wheel of Fortune card? Tell me the timing on that. When is that fated to change? In February happening now <sighs> wild message something might have happened back in february and it's in the works right now okay i honestly feel like there's some intimacy and emotional issues going on like what are the blocked repressed emotions someone's afraid of something yet they're lonely and i saw it there with that that four of cups okay isolated alienated friendless and there's grief oh wow i'm hearing hidden grief hidden heart break sorrow about something prove intimacy there's something about passivity and i saw it from the very beginning with that um hangman okay without initiative and drive the passion will die and i, I saw there's some contrast between taking action and not take it. It was a strong, it's almost a bipolar vibe. Like it's, there's no middle ground and it's, it's one way or another. It's either too passive or too, uh, assertive, like inappropriate, inappropriately. So I'm getting a lot, I'm getting a lot. So what I'm going to put them up here and you can pause the screen if you want to read it. Cause I don't have time to read it all. I'm running out of time. All right, I hope this helps, and until next time, I wish you all the best. Be blessed.